with my amazing stepson, Gray. So okay. Gray usually does the uh, camera work Behind for these the little scenes. videos. Uh, Gray is an aspiring film producer, director, you are, you writer are. Yeah. Um, in LA, and uh, he finds himself uh, also stuck in Dallas in these quarantine circumstances. Nothing's filming right now. So we get to have him home, so he's very excited. Yeah. And uh, Gray- So are we. Uh, so are we, yes. <laughs> Cheers. That came yeah, right, out thank you. Battling. I meant it, then. Mm -hmm. uh, we know what you meant. I meant it with best intentions. Anyway, um, we're gonna make guacamole. Gray loves to cook, and he's a phenomenal cook. We gotta get uh, him to make us some dumplings. Those dumplings yeah. that you made. Some fried uh, dumplings. He's a killer with fried dumplings. They're amazing. I think we still so have some good. frozen no, I in ate the freezer. I ate them. Okay, they're gone. Mm -hmm. So she probably ate them when she was mad at me and said, this guy, I'm gonna eat all these things. Oh, and, yesterday. <laughs> could, could be. Anyway, uh, we're gonna make guacamole today. We've got the ingredients laid out. Gray, why don't you tell us what we're using for the guacamole? Yeah, so it's avocados, pass avocados. Campari tomatoes, Campari tomatoes. the sweetest Campari But you can use any tomato. And then we have some onion chopped, some cilantro, and then a uh, jalapeno. And Mark did the mise en place. And then lime and salt is the most important. So is, is there a recipe or do you just kind of feel it out? Just fill it up. Okay, let's see you go for it. Let's fill it out. What is this thing, Greg? Uh, oh. It's called a mochahete. Do you need this for guacamole? You don't need it. You don't need but it. But you kind of need it. The mochahete. And they sell it on Amazon, but it looks pretty. But you can make this in a bowl, right? You can make the it in a bowl. The mochahete is my favorite. So show them how you do that. So he's gonna take a big knife and he's gonna cut longitudinally around this thing. And then you twist the two halves and look at that. One half has the pit in it, or the pit, whatever. And did you see he banged the knife in there and he twists it a little bit and it comes out. And the that most important- That is the safest way to do it. Don't jam the knife in with the point first. The most important part that you didn't notice was he had his hand on the back of the knife with his thumb pushing that uh, stone off of it, as opposed to trying to pull it or wrench it off. Push it off with your thumb from the back. You will never hurt yourself. We've actually that. had to sew up one of our friends. She called yeah. us like so, at six o'clock at night. It was like, so, I was making guacamole can you, and I can cut you show myself. what you did? So he took his knife and he cross hatched Good very thin slices. Yeah. Use a spoon. Thank Spray you, Robert. Yeah. Yeah. See that? You bless can you. Get it We're all blessed. <clears throat> We're all blessed. We're all blessed. Okay. We're all blessed. So he's cross hatching that. Gray is very sensitive with the knife. He can tell exactly where the end of the skin is. These are nice ripe oh, avocados. So uh, he's not piercing the skin at all. Show him what you do with the tomatoes while she's doing that. So he's going to quarter these tomatoes. And then is now- Is he going to quarter them? I'm from New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey. I know people say you're, you're from, from Switzerland. Switzerland. I am from Switzerland, but I grew up in New Jersey. So he made here, this is called a tomato petal. He took a quarter of the tomato, quarter of it, and he's cutting the seeds and the center out, and he's got tomato petals. This is the best part of the tomato. This part, use it for something else. Yeah, because the seeds in the middle, it adds too much water, makes yeah, it squishy. Use this for something else, like putting down your dishwasher disposal or something. <laughs> Smart. Or uh, make tomato water out of it, mm -hmm. which is actually really good. So but good but so touched that I don't even think we should do a video That's about That's the advanced course, and we're not gonna do that today because people already think you're gay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you don't think I'm gay, do you, Gray? No. <laughs> you probably know that for a fact, as we offend you. On the daily. So he put he put in the uh, mocajete. Mocajete. We should get Zuri in here to say oh, that. She She's got saying, okay, by far the best pronunciation. She was in Cabo with us. Mocete. And we did a taco class like to learn to make tacos and she wanted to come with us and she came and so she now loves saying mocajete. She walks around And she house. corrects us with all our Spanish pronunciation. Mocajete? How do you say it? Mocajete. Mocajete? Who said it better? Mocajete. Mocajete. Am I saying it right? Her, her Spanish is, is tight. It's tight. Tight, 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 tight. Tuco. Tuco. Remember Tuco from Salamanca. Breaking Bad? Tuco Salamanca. Salamanca. We have jumped the shark, people. Gray is already like, can I be out of this video yet? <laughs> it's drinking with your family. It's called forced family fun. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're getting some. We're, how many limes do you think that these two avocados need, Gray? Probably two limes. Probably two. Limes. two. I bet you're right. 
And you know what? If two limes isn't right, you put three in. Maybe taste it after one. Greg, right? just roll that lime over there. You get a little more juice when you do that. Yeah, that's especially because that was one of those rough skin ones, not quite as much juice. Of the onion? Right. There's a lot of cooks in the kitchen right now. Okay. Ooh, hot water. Squeezing that lime. Mmm. Squeezing the lime. Great. Right. What the fuck? You spilled, spilled, I spilled it. Dude, those are top four. Those are good. I hardly have worn those. I don't even know why I have. I just want we don't go out anymore. anymore. We're quarantined. I think we should do some jalapeno. Yeah, okay. a little bit. Did you say oh. she's sauced? We're mm. sauced. He, we he, are he, sauced. Okay. So he's getting the seeds out. What about that rib? Do you want to keep that rib in there? I think I'm going to keep the rib. You want it to be hot. You want me to get rid of the rib? Well, is it going to be hotter with the rib or not hotter? Hotter. He decided to get rid of the one rib. Did I get keep... that one right? You did. What's three times three? True or false? Nine. Okay, great. Winning. <laughs> you going back to LA tonight? That's the plan. That's the plan. He's like, I'm getting out. Now you got at least two more weeks here, buddy. Enjoy. I was so planning on not getting, you know, drunk tonight, but. Oh, what do you got there, Greg? A bit of cilantro. Now, is that definitely necessary? I think it is. I would agree, but you, if you don't have it, you know what? Make your guac anyway. It's still gonna be pretty good. Mm, I love cilantro. Not a ton, but look oh, at that. Now it. he's like really. I doing... mean, he's so your son. No, he's doing a good job. It's crazy. Okay. I've had a surgeon cut me in surgery before. It wasn't Was you. it me? Nope. No. Resident. Carrie's using the spoon. All right. Okay. No, I know what but you're gonna do. But actually, if you do this. Oh my God! Look how that tip. Works. A little pro tip just there. Just the tip, just to see how it feels. All right. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm gonna put a lot of salt in. A lot of comes. liberally salt. Yeah, a lot of salt. He's probably gonna put more. Is Ray makes the best guacamole. It, it'll does. come out if you mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to like ease your hand. Look at this, chips. Mm. Okay, so you like push it back in there. Yeah. The flaw of the mocha head day. Uh, some purists say guac has no tomato, and some purists say it does. So there's two styles of guacamole with and without tomatoes. Um, the other thing that honestly, you don't need the mocajete, you don't need the little tool, it's like a mortar and pestle. Um, you, you can put the avocados in a bowl and mash them. Now, I, I used to go to a restaurant in New York City back in the late 80s called Rosa Mexicano. And the way they did it was they would put onions in the mocajete first, and they would really? crush the onions to get the flavor with the, onions. the the pestle to so they weren't so solid, and they would crush the onions. Then they would put all the other ingredients in it and just mix it by hand without crushing it, and that would give you a very rough, rustic, but in a way elegant kind of guacamole that uh, was not so creamy, and it was really good. But certainly, this is a great way to do it. It's amazing. Gray's gonna give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, at this point, you maybe add more salt, no. maybe more add salt. more lime, and maybe add more cilantro. But otherwise, it's perfect. And now, we're gonna invite- Our guest, our special guest today. Because Nurse Kyra is here. She's our neighbor, and we're uh, sheltering in place. She, actually, she is in our social cohort, so she comes over every day. Mm. And we see her every day, but she's not allowed to see anyone else. In the <laughs> way. She's basically part of the family. Right oh one. my god, that so is good. amazing! Right, with the jalapeno margarita. That's killer. Even better than Mexico. Right, so good. Mm. So good. All right, you guys. So guacamole goes great with the do burritos. Check that video out that we did, and happy whatever day it is. Next time. <laughs> I tried to talk them into buying a uh, 65 pound suckling pig that we would bury in the backyard, but so far we haven't gotten there yet. Under but my I, turf I, that I, 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 I really want to do that. I want to get like a baby pig and like roast it. Well, here's the option for That you. would be like perfect for this. You can get another wife and I'm sure she'll let you do that. Okay. Enjoy. Good girl. Why?